Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to make the cookies that I told you I was going to, I was, that I was promising to make you. The turmeric cookies. As you can see, there, there's my bowl. What I've got in here right now is a half a, a cup and a half of ground oats. What I did is I took, I have a coffee grinder. Hi, Fred. Good to see you. I have a coffee grinder and I took, I just took some oats and I, I ground it up in, in my coffee grinder and I measured out what I would need. Now I'm going to put in, um, two, okay, two tablespoons of ground, ground ginger. And I've got one tablespoon here and I'm going to, hi zebra, good to see you. I need to use this finger, use this hand. And this all, I'm also going to make icing for this too, with frosting. Um, and I'll, I'll do that as soon as the cookies are cooled off, I can put the frosting on them. You can go ahead and share this out or whatever you choose to do. I appreciate all the hearts and that that you've given me because everything helps. It doesn't want to come out very well. There it comes. Whoa. Okay. That's probably a little bit more than I needed, but I'll just put it in there anyway. Um, welcome to everybody that's coming on. And thank you for sharing this out. Thank you for coming in. And watching me make this I'm hoping that I'll, I'll it'll meet your expectations okay um, then one tablespoon of turmeric and we know turmeric is a very good product it's very very healthy for you I know this doesn't seem like much for, for a cookie but um, they're they're totally different. They're going to be a lot different than what you normally you normally eat. This loose a little bit. Try to try to see if I can get something down in here to loosen this up. Let me get a knife for a minute. I just kind of got stuck down in there and didn't want to come out. There we go. There we go. There's a tablespoon of ginger, or turmeric, excuse me. I already put the ginger in there. Now, it says to mix all the dry ingredients together. Oh, and a pinch of salt. So I'm going to use a pinch of salt. Hi, Alexis. Good to see you. You just came in just in time. I heard that you got your gold badge. Congratulations. Erlene told me that this morning. Well, you earned it. You get so many people in your periscope. You know, it's wonderful that you do. You could even make these, Alexis, because it calls for turmeric. Yes, congratulations. I see that. That is wonderful. I'm still trying to work on mine yet. I haven't got there yet. Okay, in this bowl, I've got three bananas. I'm about to mash them a little bit more. Because um, I want to get them mashed really good. And then I add them to the dry ingredients. This is an icing goes on this, too. And I can make that while the, while the cookies are in the oven. Because they have to cool, too. Okay, put this in here. I went and ate my lunch. I got all my dishes done and before I came in here. And mix with the dry ingredients. Okay. There isn't much in here. No. No. What I have in here is um, uh, oats. A cup and a half of oats. Um, two tablespoons of ground ginger and a tablespoon of turmeric and salt. And now the bananas. That's, that's what's in here. It's not sugar. And these are going to be totally different. So these are going to take a little bit to mix them. And I've got my oven already heated, um, ready to go. This is supposed to make 16 cookies. Whether it will or not, I don't know. But they won't bake. They don't. They don't bake very long. So, well, I won't. We won't have to wait 
for all, forever to get them out of the oven. And that's a good thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep mixing these here until I get it all mixed together. Until it all comes together. What I did is I, I have a coffee grinder, Alexis, and I just took some oats in my coffee grinder, put them in my coffee grinder, and just ground them up. I could have put them in my Vitamix. Oh, yes, you can. Because if you, you, I know you use turmeric and ginger. All that stuff is really good for you. And it says, when you put them on the... Uh, it's in the same size. That's not going to be easy to do them for the same size, but I'm certainly going to try. Probably this ice cream scoop will be too big because they're going to be, they're going to probably, I won't get enough cookies out of it, but. I'll just probably use this and drop them on there. Maybe I can do, well, I think it's out of here. Maybe I better use the ice cream scoop. A little, I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. It's a little. I'll use the ice cream scoop. If I don't get 16 cookies for me, that's okay. Because I figure the ice cream scoop's gonna give me all the pretty much the same size anyway. I love the ice cream scoop for that. We'll see how many I get out of here this way. I may get close. This is about as, this is the best way I can do it to get them as round as I can get them. Because to try to get them round yourself, you can't really do it. So this kind of, kind of works a little bit. They're not going to be perfectly round, but you know something, who cares? <laughs> They're only for me anyway. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, as you can hear, my dogs are outside barking. I think they're, they're seeing a squirrel up a tree, and they're trying to get the squirrel to come down out of the tree. So. Might get a dozen or so, or close to it. If I don't get 16, like I said, you know, you make these yourself. If you, if you want 16, you might have to add a little bit more to it. But uh, I don't think it really matters. They are a very pretty color, though, aren't they? That two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got ten. You know, that's six shy of sixteen, but I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. They have to be in there twelve to fifteen minutes. So let me set my oven for twelve to fifteen minutes. Pardon my arm here. There we go. Oh, thank you everybody for coming in. Um, but you don't have to bake very long. I've put them in there for 15 minutes. I thought I'd better do that versus uh, uh, the shorter side of it. <laughs> Pressing fast forward, waiting for taste test. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. They're going to be different, I know that. They're going to be much different. And there's also a, a cashew vanilla icing that I'm going to make. Um, they got to cool off and then I can make the cashew, um, icing because you don't want to ice them until they cool off. But, uh, I enjoy coming in here and, and when I heard that Alexis got her gold, I thought, well, if anybody, if she can do it, I can do it too. It's just, I don't have that Russian following me like following you. So therefore he isn't going to invite people into mine like he does yours, but Maybe he'll get word of it someday. You know, I, I maybe he'll get get wind that I'm a, I'm a, a cook. I do cooking scopes, and he'll come in mine sometime. You never know. 
you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting for, to get to, <laughs> to 300,000. I think I would, uh, oh, you have a few now following? Oh, great. I'm just waiting to get, uh, as many as you get. And if I get as many as you get, I'll be, I'll be collapsing. I'll be falling on the floor. I swear I will. <laughs> I really will. Because, oh, wow, I, I just can't believe it, you know, that you get that many. Um, I could probably make that frosting now, but I thought I'd probably better wait. But, uh, well, I could make go ahead and make it now, and then uh, we can, uh, what I hear, have here is a small blender, a hand blender, that will work just fine, because I don't want to use my Vitamix for it. Let me go get my cashews. Just looking for my cup measure that I washed today. Here it is. So I'll be right with you. Just getting my. Because I had both my my one cup and two cup measures dirty, so I thought I'd better go ahead and wash them and uh, use these. This is the easiest way to do, do it. Okay, now this calls for three quarter cup of cashew nuts. I better use a, a spoon again. That might be a lot easier. You go faster. Uh, then I pour them all over the cupboard instead of <laughs> in the thing. Sorry about that. Uh, my day didn't start out very good this morning, so I knew it would probably be a bad day anyway. <laughs> started out horrible this morning. And it's just kind of, it's kind of progressed all day long. It's been the same, same thing all day long. So... Yeah, but if your day starts out bad, invariably it's going to be bad the rest of the way. <laughs> it does for me anyway. Okay. Okay. I'll close this up and put this away. This is the best place, best best way to keep your cashews, so that nothing happens to them. Keep them fresh. And those are, these are raw, by the way. Two tablespoons of sweetener, such as maple syrup. Let me go get my maple syrup. And if I don't see you, um, uh, your comments, it's because I'm trying to get this done. Okay. Now, um, I see Alexis came back. One teaspoon of vanilla, and I'll get my, my alcoholic vanilla. this these spoons too they work real well there we go teaspoon i'll rinse it off in case i need to use it for anything else there we go now two tablespoons of coconut oil or coconut butter um okay and this is the coconut oil that i have This is very good coconut oil. It's organic. I bought this, buy this at Walmart. I probably could have melted this first, but I don't think it's really going to matter because I'm going to, it's going to be all um, taken care of in here anyway.
Because this brought this little thing, hand thing pulverizes the Splash of water. Okay, a splash of water for blending. I don't know how much water, but I'll put just a little bit in it. Don't want to put too much. That might be a little bit much, but we'll try it. I'm going to put this back. to buy this online. Um, I think I've got it through, through Amazon. Erlene had seen it, and so she decided to buy, the, buy it too. And Well, she bought it first, and then I bought it. You can see what it looks like on there. It's going to be nice and creamy, and that's going to go up on top. I'll just leave this in here. I won't touch it. And as soon as the cookies come out and they cool off, I'm going to put that on there. And then you're supposed to sprinkle turmeric or ginger on top of the icing. So this is going to be a real good icing. Really, let me throw this away first. Mm, this is very good. Um, Alexis, if you're in here, would you uh, invite Erlene? She, she's messaging me, and I can't get back to her right now. She said something about she was about Daniel. Um, just let just let her know I'm on Periscope. Message her or or just to invite her, so she because she probably evidently didn't get the notification because uh, she's usually in here and she doesn't want to miss my Periscope. So and I know that she, um, she always comes in here. So I would appreciate it if anybody else is following Erlene. Be sure and invite her in here. I couldn't do it when I was on, when I came on here, but we'll wait for the cookies to come out. And I'm going to get smart this time. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my, um, this out to begin with. So I don't hurt my cupboard or anything. And sit and put my things up on that. And like I should have done the other day. And I'm, I'm glad Alexis was in here to tell me that I didn't that I, I could ruin the mat, but I don't want to don't want to ruin my cover here. So I just set the cookie sheet up on this uh, um, rack. That's what the rack is, is for. You know, you know. I'm surprised I'm not getting very many in today, but I don't know where everybody's at. But you know, I got, I'm glad I get what I get. Um, so, but you know, the the time of day that you come on, Alexis, is probably ideal because a lot of people. Are waiting for you every morning. I just happen to be sound asleep when you come on. I can't, you know. I just never, never awake when you're when you come on. It's, you know, I'm I'm dead to the world at three o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> I think you'd understand that. But I do try to get in and watch your replays whenever I can. Now there's a few more coming in. Um, did you? Well, good luck to you on that. I hope that. Uh, you win. What you gonna do with the money if you win, Alexis? What you gonna do with it? <laughs> oh, you have your kitchen to yourself. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Yep, yep. And with Bryce gone, you know, and stuff. Yep. I like having my kitchen to myself. I don't have to account to anybody for anything, you know. And uh, it's my humble abode, I guess you could say. And uh, I enjoy having it to myself. Although I wish my kids were still home, but you know something. They got married, got out of the house, and have kids of their own. Uh, oh, you pay. Oh, there, yeah, you go. Oh, that's right. Pray, pray. I can imagine his education, his college education, is going to be really steep. Hi, Arlene. Good to see you. I thought that you probably were busy and didn't get the inv invitation, so I, or didn't get the notification. So I, hi, good to see you. So I asked uh, Alexis to invite you so that you could come in and, 
and uh, see my, uh, I got them, got them in the oven right now, and I made the icing. I made the icing uh, out of the tri best. This is what's left on that, uh, off of the thing. And it's supposed to be, and then you put ginger and turmeric on top of that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, you were making his nachos. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of times I'm cooking when somebody comes on, and I can't exactly go to their Periscope when, when, um, I saw Stacy's, but when, uh, Deborah came on, I couldn't, I couldn't see hers because I was busy at the time because I wanted to get my lunch all made. I did make me a homemade tomato soup again for lunch. Um, oh, I'm, I'm glad you did. It's hard to catch me live sometimes, but I try to come in usually the same time every day if I can. You know, I have come on early mornings already, but, um, so, uh, oh, there's a bot. <laughs> you know, those bots can be so annoying. I'll catch that bot right now. Yeah, somebody else is making Danny's nachos, right? But anyway, um, I try to come on the same time every day, but, you know, try to get it, get it right. But, yeah, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I saw what time it was and I thought, oh, I gotta hurry up and get my my lunch eaten because I had two bowls of my tomato soup because it was I because I made it in a Vitamix and then I just do, did my dishes in between. Um, oh, good, good, that's wonderful. Yep, I the replays every day, all day. That's what that's what Marilyn says. That's what I have replays all day, every day because I don't delete my replays. They're on here and they'll stay on here. Um, shouldn't be very long now. Let me see how much time we've got. Yeah. Oh, two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes and they'll come out. Let me go get my things. So that it doesn't take very long. Two minutes. And then I'll put them up in here. You'll be able to see them. And then I'll let them cool a little bit. And then I'll put the icing on them. And then you put a little bit of turmeric and ginger on top of that. And that's why they're called ginger and turmeric. And it's, it's amazing. you got ginger and turmeric inside the cookie. And you got it on top as well. And the icing's got cashews in it. If you didn't know earlier, I've got... The icing is made with cashews, maple syrup, vanilla, coconut oil, a splash, a splash of water, and then you and then you top it with, with turmeric or ginger, ground ginger. Um, and that's going to make a nice looking cookie. I found it on Pinterest the other day, and I thought, well, these are simple enough to make. And turmeric has so many good properties to it that I love using turmeric. And it gives it's very colorful, very flavorful. Oh, and I also... I made my um, sliceable cheese before I came in here too. I, I hadn't made any in a long, long time. So I wanted to make my sliceable cheese. So I found my recipe, got it out and made that. Yeah, it took a little bit of time too, but I, I got her done and got it in the refrigerator and and I got my lunch on and I thought, well, I'm gonna come in here and sh show those cookies because I promised you I would. Um, from each and every day, I really don't have a menu planned out. I'm not, I know you do, Alexis, but I really, from one day to the next, I don't have planned out what I'm gonna make. It's just whatever I can find to make because uh, I don't want to make the same thing over and over again. It gets kind of boring after a while. And if I already scoped something once, I don't want to scope it again. Unless it what didn't scope very good the first time, you know, was it too good. But I try to do it uh, as different as I can, you know, make different things. I love making different things. It's so much fun because... Um, Oh, you've been running all over town trying to get... Did you finally find everything? Because I know how that can be, trying to find ingredients for your recipes. Okay, there it comes out. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. And then I'll go ahead and pull it out. Well, as you can see, they're not round cookies, but I don't really think it really matters. Look at the color of them. Don't that, doesn't that color look good? Look at that color. And once they cool down a little bit, then I can put the turmeric and ginger on, on top. Um, the, I'm supposed to get 16 cookies, but I'm getting 10. But I figure that's that's good enough for me, you know. And Oh, hi. Good to see you. Welcome, and thank you for coming on. Hi. Welcome, welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Welcome, everybody that's coming on. Thank you for sharing this out. Thank you for all the hearts. I, am, I appreciate it. Um, these cookies just came out of the oven, as you can see. I only got 10 cookies out of it. Um, but you know something? I'm supposed to have 16, but I used my, my um, 
And though, don't they though? I used my ice cream scoop to kind of make them all the same size. And I figured, well, if I use the ice cream scoop, they'll be better than, than trying to do, trying to do it my own my own way. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit because I don't want to try to pull them off until they're cooled down. Hi, Tora. Good to see you. Just You just happened to see my, my cookies. Um, I made an icing for them, too. But as soon as they cool down, you can see if you can look in here, there's the icing for it. And I'm going to sprinkle a little turmeric or a little ginger on top of the icing. Um, what's in them? Okay. Very simple recipe. Not very much at all. First of all, I took some oats. You have to have a, a cup and a half of oats, and you grind them up. So I've got a coffee grinder. So I measured out some oats, and I ground them up until I had a cup and a half. Then you use two tablespoons of ground ginger, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a pinch of salt, and three bananas. You have to mash three bananas. I happen to have three starting, starting to turn real ripe bananas. I thought, well, that's ideal. I had just enough. Now, I don't have any bananas left, so I'll have to get me some more. But I had just enough for this. So it's got bananas in it. It's got oats, uh, ginger, turmeric, and salt. The icing has three-quarter cup of cashew nuts, two tablespoons of sweetener such as maple syrup, a teaspoon of, of vanilla, which I use the non-alcoholic vanilla, two tablespoons of coconut oil or coconut butter. I didn't have the coconut butter. I have the coconut oil. A splash of water for blending and a sprinkle of turmeric or ginger to top with. That's exactly. I might have put a little bit more water in here, but you want you want the see that looks real good. It look you can see on the on there it looks real and it tastes good too. Mm. Really good. It's different. The vanilla and the cashews really set that off. It's really really good. But um, I'm gonna post it up on Facebook when I get these when I get these cooled off. And I can ice them. Then I'll, I'll put it up on Facebook and let everybody see what they look like. Um, what can you use instead of yeast or baking powder? Um, well, you, I do use baking powder. However, the baking powder I use is aluminum-free. They do have aluminum-free. I did get it through Amazon. That and baking soda both are aluminum-free. You're allowed to use it as long as it's aluminum-free because the aluminum is what hurts you. So... Feel free to use aluminum-free baking soda, baking powder. That's what I've done, and it comes out real good. My bread that I made the other day, my chalk, my vegan chocolate um, banana bread, it's absolutely delicious. Oh, you're welcome. It is absolutely delicious. I've been eating a little bit of it every day, and you know something? It is very, very moist. Those that were not in here when I made it, I will show you what it looks like now. I've cut into it. You can see I'll have a few pieces gone, but I'll let you see what it looks like. This is my uh, vegan chocolate banana bread. Um, yes, it is. As you can see, I've been, really been cutting into this. This has chocolate chips in the middle, or carob chips in the middle, and carob chips on top. I don't use uh, regular chocolate chips, cocoa powder. I use carob. This is actually very moist. As you can see, it's very, very moist. It tastes really, really good. It is. It's very, very good. I posted this up on my Facebook page. For those of you that are in my Facebook group, go in there and check the recipe out. It's very simple to make. I love I love making it, and it is so delicious. <coughs> and you can see, look how moist it is on top, too. It's very, very moist. It says to keep it in, a, in an airtight container in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm doing. This is an airtight container. And... Uh, and it's very, I mean, it's so healthy. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, they got a turmeric in them. They got ginger in them. They got bananas. You got oats. You got coconut um, oil. And you got water. And then, I'm gonna make, then I've got an icing ready to make. That I'm going to put on top as soon as they cool off. Um, <laughs> oh, said some to you, some to Jamaica. Well, I wish it could. It might be really expensive. But, you know, I love making for other people. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Why not? Uh, why not? I mean, that, that's fine. I mean, a lot of people said that they want to they wanna adopt me as their mother or grandmother or whatever, you know. Sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> Maybe I'll let these cool off probably a little bit more. I probably should have 
grease this. I'm going to find a problem getting these out. But you know something? I'll work with these. No, there it comes. Just a little bit. Yeah. There. Loosen them. There it come. There. But I see it looks real good. Look at it. Looks real, real good. I just wanted to loosen one up. I'll get them a little bit cooled off. And like I said, as soon as I get them cooled off, I will put post it up on my Facebook group with the icing on it and tell everybody what the ingredients are. I haven't tasted them yet. I really haven't tasted them yet. I don't want to taste them until I post it up on Facebook. Oh, now, if you guys can hear Chewy, he's out there howling like a... He's out there howling like a coyote at something. He does that. He loves to, he loves to howl. Um... <laughs> Yeah, they, they're, I don't know, Chewie will start howling sometime, and it's so funny when he howls, he howls like a, like a silly coyote, and he does, he's out there, all of a sudden he started howling, and then she couldn't figure out why he was howling, and so she went out there, and of course, she doesn't howl, she just barks, but it's, it's funny, he'll, he's just very spontaneous, he's, he's spontaneous that way, that, hi, good to see you, welcome, very spontaneous, well, he'll just start howling at anything, anything and everything, <laughs> um, Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Oh, yeah, my my other palm, she barks all the time, you know. And they they play together pretty much, and it's it's a, it's a lot of fun watching them. But I wanted to I wanted to do this cookie recipe for you because I promised you I would. They're very, very colorful cookies. You can see they look real good. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to ice them. And then take a picture of them after, after they're iced and post, post it up on my Facebook group. For the, those of you that do not know what my Facebook group is, it is called Karen's Vegan Heaven. And I thank Alexis for picking that name because she's the one that came up with it. And it seems like it's gone over big. I've got close to 260 in the group now, and which is for me is really good because I didn't expect to ever get that many. But... People are starting to post recipes now, and more people are asking to join the group. So if you want to join the group, just 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 uh, go in there and, and ask to be approved, and I'll go on Facebook, and I will approve you. Recipes have to be approved, too. Um, I've noticed that with yours, Alexis, too, that, that I tried posting in yours the other day, and it was, <laughs> I, I still, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, it was still pending, so I deleted it, but I can always put it back up there. It was my brownies, and it never got accepted, so... Um, I suppose I probably should message you when I when I have to post something when I'm ready to post something so you know. But anyway, um, I just wanted to let you see what these look like because um, I'm gonna let them cool off just a little bit longer so I can um, cut um, not cut them but I'm gonna ice them, take them off of here, loosen them up, ice them, ice them, and put them on a plate and post them in Facebook. That's what I'm going to do, and I'll put them in a container. But anyway. I thank you all for coming in here, and I don't know what I'm going to make tomorrow because I haven't decided yet. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just have to wait to see when that time comes. But anyway, I thank, the, thank you all for coming in and sharing this out and, and being an inspiration to me to keep on going. And I hope that you all have a great evening. And until we meet again, take care, God bless, and bye-bye.